Sound It Out Phonics brings you Learn Initial Sounds E Says E by Lily Betts Resources. Let's begin by practicing the sounds that we've already learnt. Let's say them together. Ready? A says A. Ah. If you like, you can make the little ant run up your arm to remind you it's A ah for ant. Let's say that one more time. Ready? A says B says B. C says K. D says D. And here's our new sound that we're going to learn today. It's the letter E, that's its name, and it makes the sound E in words. And so we say E says E. Can you say that? Ready? E says Elephant, eh, eh, elephant. And we're going to pretend that we're an elephant by waving our arm in front of our nose like a trunk when we say E says eh. Shall we practice that now? Ready? E says eh. Let's pop the elephant in the corner, shall we? And now we'll see if we can find some more things that begin with the new sound eh. Here's something. You know what these are, don't you? Eggs. Listen as I say the word eggs. Eh, eh, eggs. Eggs begins with the sound eh, and so now we've got eh for elephant. Well done, you can say them with me, can't you? And eh for eggs. That's right. Let's see what else we can find. Maybe you know what this is. It's a bit of a difficult word to say. It's the word e -e envelope. Have a go. Can you say envelope? Listen for the e at the beginning of the word. Say it nicely. Ready? Envelope. Then now we have three things that begin with the sound e. Can you tell your grown up what they are? Start with this one. This is an elephant. Well done. These are eggs. Well done. And an envelope. That's right. Here's something else that begins with the sound E. Eh. Elbow. Your elbow. Find your elbow. It's that pointy bit on your arm, isn't it? E for elbow. So here are our things that begin with the sound E. Eh. Say them to your grown up. Ready? E eh for elephant. E eh for eggs. E eh for envelope. And E eh for Elbow. Well done. What a nice collection of things that begin with the sound E. Eh. So let's just practice our sounds again. Ready? A says A. Ah. B says B. C says K. D says D. And E says E. Eh. Very good. Now we're going to learn to write the letter E. Eh. Now, what we're going to do is we will start in the middle here. Let me get the right colour on my pen. And we start by doing a straight line across. That wasn't very straight, was it? And then when we get to the end, we go round like a curly C. OK, let me show you one more time. Ready, zap. Take that off. Here we go. Fingers in the air and you can finger write it with me. Straight across. And then round like a curly k to the line. All right. Practice that lots of times and that'll help you to get better at it. 
Right, now then, here's a little game for you. I want you to show your grown up which sound I'm saying. Ready? Where's the sound? K, k. Can you point to it? It's this one, isn't it? Well done if you got it right. Don't worry if you didn't, just keep trying. All right. Here's the next one. Listen carefully. Where's the sound? Ah, ah. Can you find the one that says ah? Show your grown up. That's right. It's this one here. Ah, ah, ah for apple. Ready for the next one? Which one says d d d d d d d for dig? Where's d for dig? Think carefully. Show your grown up d for dig. And it's this one here. Well done. And then we want where's b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b I was going to give you a word to help you, but I'm not going to. That would make it far too easy. Where's b? Yes, you've got it. Of course, it's this one, b for ball. And last of all, where's e e e e e for elephant? Yes. There it is. You know, you're so clever now. That's really super. This time I've got a picture. This is a picture of a dice. Dice. Listen carefully to the word and find the sound that it begins with. What does the word dice begin with? Say the word and feel the sound that your lips are making as you start to say the word. Dice. Show your grown up. Is it a? A for dice. B for dice. K for dice. D for dice. Or F for dice. Well, of course, it's d d d d d d d d for dice. So I'll put a circle round that one. What's next? Ah, a cap. K cap. What does cap begin with? Is it a for cap, b for cap, k for cap, d for cap, or f for cap? Listen carefully. Cap. Show your grown up which sound cap begins with. And it's k, 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 k for k, k, cap. Super. What about b b b b b Oh, I nearly told you. B, B. What does B begin with? Is it A for B, B for B, K for B, D for B, or E for B? What does B begin with? It begins with the sound. B b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b There it is. What else have we got? Ah, we know what this one is, don't we? What does egg begin with? I'm not going to give you so much help this time because you're, it's make, I'm making it far too easy for you. What does egg begin with? Egg begins with, it's this one, eh, 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 our new sound, F for egg. That's the one we want. Well done. And last of all, what sound does ambulance begin with? Ambulance. Show your grown up. Can you get there before me? Ambulance begins with a sound. A -a ambulance. A ambulance. It's that one. That's super too. Last little game for today, what we've got to do is to match the pictures to the sound that they begin with. All right. 
Let's look at the first picture and we've got our envelope. Eh, eh, envelope. Can you find the sound that it begins with? Is it b for envelope, k for envelope, d for envelope or f for envelope? Tell your grown up, make your mind up and let's find out. Here we go. It's f for envelope. Now we're going to look at the word bell, bell. What does the word bell begin with? Is it b for bell, k for kel? Oh, no, it's not a kel, is it? Or d for bell. What does bell begin with? Let's have a look, see if you're right. Where are we going to put it? Show your grown up. Oh, it's gone to buffer bell. There we go. Well done. Right, here's the next one. We've got a donkey. What does donkey begin with? Does it begin with k for donkey or d for donkey? Make your mind up. Tell your grown up. And let's see if you're right. Where's the donkey going to go? It's going on to d for donkey. Well done. And last of all, cake. Cake. Well, we've only got one left, haven't we? Let's make absolutely sure, certain that we're right, though. K for cake. Yes, we are. There we go. We'll pop the cake onto k. Well, that's the end of our lesson to today. So a big golden star because you've worked really hard. Keep practicing and I'll see you soon for the next lesson.